Look up the word freedom. Look up the word D-O-M first. To, so you know when the word D-O-M is attached, it means dominion. Which, when you attach it to free, means someone has dominion over your state of being free. Freedom, the word freedom that we, we parrot like a bunch of parrots, <laughs> a bunch of goobers. Uh, it actually means that you're free to do what you want as long as you obey man's law, government law. Well, if government law says you can't do anything, then you're basically free to do nothing. You can only do what the law tells you to do. And if you don't have a license to do something illegal, you're going to be in trouble. That's freedom. And we worship this word as if it's God-given, and yet it's a political term or it's a political privilege, if you will. Freedom is not what you think it is. It is a concept. Absolutely. It is a state of slavery, and it's incredible incredible realization and, and that's what stems from liberty most people see liberty as a form of freedom it is actually only granted within honors that means that only a non-bankrupt sovereignty can grant the franchise or the incorporation of liberty and this stems from the forest and chases charters so here you are in the forest and the king is calling you such as an affiant. When you go in to make an affiant statement or an affidavit in court, for example, they consider that feces. Fiant is scat. It's it's uh, just basically the uh, excrement of vermin in their forest. And you can watch this throughout Black's Law Dictionary. Um, you can be lurking. There's there's a definition for latitat. That means you're lurking in their county. And again, you go back to the definitions of county, and that means counter. It's just a place where things are counted, the rolls, the rosters. the This is where the thesaurus is. That's the place where you're tricked out in each county behind each bench or bank, which is the judge maintaining the court within the house. And of course, we talked about this the other night, that house, the House of Representatives, it has various departments and inside of those departments, offices. And then it's got lower chambers of its house, which mean rooms and corridors, uh, such as the House of Delegates in West Virginia, Virginia, and New Hampshire. These things are all within the same house. It's a central form of government. It's not decentralized. There's no other puppet masters it is the Board of Governors, the Broadcasting Board of Governors, the Board of Governors that are behind every single uh, representative, every single senator. This is the uh, Association of Corporate Council, or the ACL. And those things, the Association of Corporate Council is actually the government two times. So you have board members on the Association of Corporate Council that are also from Microsoft, that are also from Anheuser-Busch. These things are also on the uh, Council of Foreign Relations. What is foreign relations? That just means communication between one or more two, uh, foreign states. So foreign relations can be between um, Sacramento County and El Dorado County. That, that is foreign relations. And when you look at that Council of Foreign Relations, who are the members? All of your corporate governance. So who's controlling this communication? Who's controlling the intelligence that's fed to human beings? Who's controlling all of these things? And why are you being taught that liberty is something that you need to strive for? Because it can only be granted by a sovereign state. You want to be at liberty. You don't want to be granted to hold or, or to have in any way liberty. You want the whole thing. 